Hello folks and good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. We're ready for cruising fun. Full time live aboard option with this possibility. A beautiful 1998 Carver 355 motor yacht. Large and in charge but easy to handle. All new enclosure up top as well as the bimini. Wide beam, shallow draft, it's paired by twin 454 closed cooling motors, 300 gallons of fuel capacity, nice size integrated swim platform, easy access to the rear deck space with the molded in steps. Hot and cold water shower for rinsing off. You've got your city water hookup. There's also a fresh water tank. Cable hookup, total of three TVs on board, and then your short power cables. Dual air conditioners running right now, blowing nice and cold inside. Plexiglass doorways allow access along both gunnels all the way forward with stainless steel railing. Perfect for entertaining with your freshwater sink and ice maker on deck. All is operational. Snap on carpet to keep feet cool. It's removable in case you'd prefer to not have any on deck. Keep all your dock lines out of the way. More access along the starboard side few steps up to the flybridge. Wonderful dash layout. Full walk around helm area. Oversized captain's seat is adjustable. And then a triple wide bench. As well as a full width forward facing seat. Definitely not feeling cramped. You've got a tent windshield drop down clear Isenglass enclosure for inclement weather and great visibility from the helm area. See sun pads forward again clean and soft upholstery on them fender holders keep everything out of the way you've got a remote operated anchor windlass by Maxwell as well as a spotlight. There is autopilot on board, radar, and a newer Garmin GPS 546S. The autopilot is linked into the chart plotter so you can set waypoints and it will turn when necessary and it's also redundantly linked into the radar in case it the radar picks up anything within a mile range it will alert you. You've also got a second screen for the autopilot down below in the main salon so if you did want to leave the helm and have a sandwich inside the air conditioning you can adjust your heading or have a heads up in case it's needed for you to get back up to the wheel love all the walking space non-skid is molded into the deck nice size pulpit too all the railings are securely mounted. I see no gel coat cracks anywhere on board. Luxury styling, thanks to Carver. World famous with quality construction. Shiny hole sides too. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Very spacious salon, L-shaped lounger to port, four seat dinette table along starboard side, entertainment system as well, TV number one with Kenwood CD stereo system.
nice and cool with the air conditioners running. Wrap around covers on the windows. All lights are good. Nice clean upholstery. No tears or stains to note. These are dual recliners. We've got footrests that fold up. And the dinette table drops down to create another sleeping space in addition to the forward and rear cabin. Storage behind those mirrors as well as underneath this bench seat. Galley down design but still a very open concept with serving countertop. We've got a sharp microwave Nice deep basin sink, storage above and below, an oven, and three burner stove top by Princess. Black and Decker coffee maker. Plenty of room for plates, dried goods, whatever you like. Fridge and freezer, nice and cold. Now the forward head. Vacuum flush, simple foot pedal op flush operation on it. Plenty of counter space. You can see the shower door closes off. The other part of that is over here. Keeps everything in the sink area dry. So only wet part is half the room. Hot and cold water shower. You got a tank monitoring system. Ventilation fan and window. And then two power outlets too. Our forward stateroom, again, nice and roomy. TV number two, huge bed space. Seating area for putting on your shoes or when getting dressed. You got three dresser drawers underneath and lots and lots of sleeping room. The headliner looks all good. Forward hatch letting in great fresh air as well as the side portholes. And then that's tinted when closed. Let's go ahead and head on back to the aft cabin. Some additional storage for entertaining. Keep glasses and bottles out of the way. Privacy door closes off the captain's quarters. Queen size mattress in here. Oversized nightstand. Love the wraparound windows. Again, all the lights are operational. You've got a hanging locker over a long port. Your second AC controls. TV number three. Then some more storage space below and up top. Light switches. And then another hanging locker is behind this doorway. Now we've got our rear head, a little bit bigger. Again, vacuum flush systems hooked up in here. Separate shower stall from the sink area with a molded in bench seat. Another vent fan and vent window and a huge mirror, which is always nice for getting ready. Let me go ahead and open up the engine compartment. We'll take a look inside. Right. Closed cooling for peace of mind. Easy access to your through holes. These are the 454 CIDs, Mercruiser Horizons. Straight inboard for peace of mind versus a V drive. Newer risers and manifolds and exhaust hoses on the port motor. Kohler Gen Set sitting right in the middle. It's got a sound shield on it. Make sure to check out all of the high resolution photos we have posted on popyachts.com. Give me a call today. My name is Andy. Look forward to meeting you in person. 
for a walkthrough. I'm happy to answer any specific questions you have about this beautiful Carver 355. Let's get you out on the open water and having fun.